We are all finite creatures, but God is infinite. God is infinite in power. No. No. <laughs> I would never say that. No. Of course. Oh, homosexuality is a sin. But I never said that it's they're the cause of coronavirus. Sin is sin is what? No, no, I said everybody's worried about the coronavirus, but I said you should be worried about whether your name's written in the book of life. So the Bible says in Revelation 20, 15, whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. No, I don't, I don't, I didn't say anything about it like that. But yes, I, the Bible talks about homosexuality as being a sin. But you know what? We shouldn't just focus on that sin because even a lie separates us from God. You know, even if we look with lust. Yes. Yes. Of course I do. The Bible says in Revelation 3.19, this is Jesus, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten and Be zealous therefore and repent. So many people talk about love as just being this mushy feeling. You know what I mean? Like, I'm attracted to you, therefore that's love. But, what's that? They're doing something that's called an abomination to God. Uh, women and women and men with men. Because it's stopping the procreation process. You know what I mean? In a sense... The Bible talks about it as it being an abomination to God and, and it's a sin. It was a great sin because God created man and woman. In the beginning, God created man and woman. He didn't create man and man. He created man and woman to procreate on the earth. So now... And that's your choice. You have that choice. Because the Bible talks that there's many people who, who have that choice. You have that choice. But God... Think about it this way. If God created two men in the beginning, there would be no more people. You and I wouldn't be here. If God created two women, there would be no more people. But God created man and woman. They both fit like a glove. When you know what I'm talking about, when a man and woman come together, they both fit like a glove. Yes, they both fit like a glove. Excuse me? No. Yes, yes, the Bible calls it an abomination. Well, they are. I mean, in a sense, they're, they're hurting God because God sent his son. God sent his son to die for that sin on the cross. God sent his son to die on that. What's that? Yes, he did. Where do you find your knowledge? I talk to God Well, you're coming against his word. Am I? Yeah, you are. No, no, the Bible says holy men of God spoke as they're moved by the Holy Spirit. God works through his people, the born-again people, because God is holy, God is apart from sin, God is apart from sin, so God works through his people to tell you the truth. What's that? No, I'm spreading God's word. And the God that you believe in is actually not the God of the Bible, it's, it's Satan. It's Satan. It is, yeah, because you said, you said that you talk to God all the time, but you're not talking to the God who created you because your sin separates you from God. But if you would but humble yourself, hey, I'm not, I, I was lost in my sin. I, was, I used to get drunk when I was younger. I used to do drugs when I was younger. I used to be bound by pornography. And I found, I don't want any money from you. I'm not trying to get any church membership from you. I found forgiveness of sin on my living room couch. I realized I was a sinner. What's that? Did I ever look up porn? Yeah, I was dead in my sin, but I found forgiveness. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, the Bible says we've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. So before I was born again, I was a wicked sinner. I was probably more wicked than most of these people out here. But I, but I found forgiveness of sin on my living room couch because I laid down my pride. Because pride separates us from our God. It's our pride. I'm going to do it my way, God. I'm not going to do it your way. I'm going to do it my way. And that separates us from God. Do you want to know where I was born again? Who was I, who was I, who was I brainwashed by? I don't even belong to a church. I don't even go to most of these churches. I found forgiveness of sin on my living room couch in my house. God filled me with his Holy Spirit. So you can say I'm brainwashed all the time. I heard the same things from my wife years ago, that I was brainwashed. No churches did this to me. No, this is love. Yeah, the love is, the, is, 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 is telling the truth to the people. The Bible says in Proverbs 27, 5, 6, open and rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of the family, but the kisses of the enemy are deceitful. So I'm more of a friend to you than your friends who put their arms around you and say it's okay to sin. 
I'm being more a friend of you. Like if you had a child and that kid was running in the street, would you say, oh, that's not loving? Don't tell him not to play in the street. That's not loving. Let them do their thing. See, I know where sinners are headed. I know sinners are headed to a place called hell. Because it's lust. It's an abomination to God. It's an abomination to God. I am. Hey, I, I am loving my neighbor by telling them the truth. You're not loving your neighbor by not telling them the truth. I am telling the truth. I'm telling them that it's okay. And it doesn't line up with God's word. So you, therefore, you, the, the God that you believe in is an idol. The, see, and then you can tell about what comes out of your mouth, that you don't have the God of the Bible. Because when you're born again, he cleanses you. And that God is a false God. Because the Bible says the heart is deceitful. It's deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Your heart's deceitful and desperately wicked before you're born again. I thought I knew everything too. I thought I knew this and I thought I knew that. But when I humbled myself before God and I had a godly sorrow over my sin and I repented and turned from my sin and gave my life to Christ, there was forgiveness. There was forgiveness. And there's forgiveness for you, miss. There really is. Okay? There's forgiveness through the Lord. You keep saying that word in brainwashed and I bring it up again. Who was I brainwashed by? God's Holy Spirit entered me once I repented and turned from my sin. And now I come out here to preach God's word so that other people might come to a knowledge of truth. You know what? Because people, hey, why are you so, why are you so, you're so centered on homosexuality? The Bible says, the Bible lists so many sins. So many sins, you're focused on that one thing is homosexuality. I said nothing about the coronavirus. You're spreading lies about me about saying that they caused the, the virus. I never said that, and I guarantee if you're posting that, you won't post to what I just said. I love people enough to tell them the truth. I love homosexuals enough to tell them the truth. That's if they don't repent. But you know what? One lie separates you from God. One lie. If you look with lust, the Bible says it's an adultery in the heart. So it's not just homosexuality. It's, it's, it's lust. It's hatred. If you hate someone without a cause, it's committing murder in your heart. You are hating somebody without a cause. No, I'm loving them. I'm willing to lay down my life. I'm willing to, you're still focused on homosexuality. Why are you focused on that one sin? Well, there's so many different sins you can focus on. What about murder? What about, what, you, you weren't born, you weren't born a liar. You weren't born a drunk. I'm putting sins across the board in the terms of, yes, there are, there is, there are sins that are higher in us. Miss, listen, please repent and turn to Christ. Give your life to Jesus. I care for you, miss. I really do. Folks, there's salvation through Jesus. I'm told that I'm spreading hate. I'm spreading hate because I'm telling people the truth. I'm spreading hate because I'm telling the people the truth. But if you die in your sin, you won't make it to God's kingdom. Love warns, the Bible says. Love warns. So I come out here, the Bible says, in Proverbs 27, 5, 6. Open and rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. So say, people say they love humanity, but they want to tell them they can continue on their sinful ways. They, want to, they can continue on their sinful ways. That's not love. That's not love. That's actually hate. That's actually hate. If you know someone's in a burning building, you're not going to walk by and say, oh, don't warn them. Don't warn them. That's hate. Don't warn them. But I'm here to tell you that your sin, the sin in your life is a burning building. And that building is going to, they're going to tear you apart. And one day that burning building is going to come down and you're not going to make it into God's kingdom. So you must repent and turn to Christ. You can have forgiveness of sin. It's not all about condemnation. It's not all about condemnation. It's about forgiveness of sin. You can have forgiveness and mercy through Jesus. That's the gospel. There is forgiveness of sin through the Lord. But we must humble ourselves. We must repent. We must confess and forsake that sin. And then God shows us mercy. You can find mercy today through the Lord. You can find forgiveness of sin through Jesus. But there must be a humbling of yourself. There must be a brokenness over your sin. There must be a godly sorrow over sin.